This is a recipe which I once made and got yelled at by a chef saying, if you serve this in my kitchen this way, you'll be fired. So you know what? Today I'm doing it in my kitchen because I can't fire myself, but also I figured out how to do it right. So today's recipe is fish en papillette and it's a French dish which is really close to my heart because it reminds me of my granddad. Now I love the guy very much but he is so hard to please when it comes to food. He's that guy that would actually send food back at a restaurant. But funny enough, when we're at home, he's always requesting for me to make this dish. It's foolproof and anyone can make it. But speaking about visiting my granddad, right? Funny story, the other day I was at H&M and then I saw this sweater. It says Les Arcs. This is actually the train station that I get off at each time I visit him. So Bon Papa, if you're watching, this is for you. So here are some of the ingredients you need for this recipe. I've got some chopped up tomatoes here. Also Chinese celery, but you can also use parsley or coriander if you like. And this is the secret ingredient, tapenade. It's basically black olives chopped up. You can do it yourself or you can buy it at the supermarket, completely fine. And I've got half an onion here, which I'm just gonna slice up very thinly. And then we're gonna fry it up to caramelize them. Now that's done, we can go fry them up. Okay, so now I've got my pan heated up and oiled. I'm just gonna put in the onion. We want to fry it at low heat so that we can caramelize it and get it all nice and soft. This is going to take a few minutes, so in the meantime, we'll just let it rest and let's preheat our oven. So I'm going to turn it on. We'll have it at 180 degrees. It's now nice and soft and a little bit brown, so we can turn off the fire and we can assemble our fish. Now for this dish, we're basically creating a little bag for our fish and we do that by cutting up some parchment paper. I've got two here. And you kind of want to cut it into a heart shape. So I wasn't really good at arts and crafts, but let me try to do my best for you guys. Ta-da! <laughs> so today I'm working with two slices of baramundi. They're from Kolbara. If you've not heard from them, they are a fish farm here in Singapore. And in fact, all of their fish are fed mainly a plant-based diet, which makes them a super sustainable source of food. And also they taste lovely. So I'm gonna start by putting some of this tapenade on it. I'm gonna spread it all over. And you know what? I'm just gonna use my hands for this one. Gotta get close up with your food. And again, if you want a more Asian flavor, you can use miso paste for this. It works just as fine. And then we're gonna go for some caramelized onions and then some tomatoes. Once it cooks, all the tomato juice is gonna ooze out and the fish is gonna steam really beautifully in it and all the flavors will melt together really nicely. And then finally, we've got some Chinese celery. And then we're gonna top off with some pepper and salt. The tapenade is already kind of salty, so you don't have to go crazy with the salt here. And I love this dish because you can also put potatoes in there. You can have a full dish with your carbohydrate, your protein, your vegetables. And then we finish it off with some olive oil. Just a little drizzle. The great thing about this dish as well is you don't need much fat in it. And then we fold it up. You've got to fold it up really tightly so we keep all the air and all the juice in there. Basically, it's kind of like a little steam bag. Just do it one fold over the other, all around the bag. You can fold the last bit under itself. And there you go. So it's really beautiful when you present it to your guests because they open it up kind of like a little gift bag and all the air and all the aroma comes out. It is the best feeling ever. And there you go. The two little bags are ready to be popped into the oven for about 10 to 15 minutes. Now the fish is done. Let's go get them from the oven. Kia smells so good. Check that out. So if you're serving this at the dinner table, you gotta get your guests all seated down and you gotta open it up in front of them so all that steam escapes and it's super, super fun. So I'm just gonna cut this up now. Check that beauty out. Oh, so lovely. And there you go. This is one of the easiest dishes to plate. All you have to do is place that nicely there, put a lemon wedge next to it, and voila, fish en papillotes. Bon appétit and may the food be with you. Try this recipe at home, snap a picture and tag me at the Charlotte May on Instagram. Leave a comment down below to tell me what you'd like to see next and don't forget to click subscribe. This is a recipe which I once made and got yelled at by a chef. If you serve this in my restaurant, you'll be fired. But you know what? I'm now cooking it in my restaurant. Be my <laughs> restaurant? Oh my I don't have a restaurant. <laughs>